everyone! This is Lisa from the Rhinestone World, and in this video I'm going to show you the basics of a compound path. Now compound paths are two paths that work together to make one shape. You can see in my design right here, I have several lines that make up one shape, but I can't change the middle lines. So what I need to do is I need to release the compound path. So I'll go over here, release compound path, and now you can see my lines are still here, but they're filled in. So if I were to click on this shape, I can drag it out. So I have several layers that are sitting on top of each other making one shape. This enables me to make some edits to this. I can even delete this if I wanted, or any other inside shapes when you have something like that. And then when I want the color to flow around there, I can just make compound path again, and we have our TRW logo just the same. Another example is if you want to have a ring. So if I made two circles, and I could fill them in two different colors. Right here I have a black ring, and I have a pink ring. So now they're separate rings, but I want them to be one. And I can even take out the fill. So if we put them right on top of each other, you can see that it makes a ring shape, but it doesn't fill it like a ring. It fills everything. So that's where the compound path comes into play. I'm going to right click on it, make compound path, and now both lines make one shape and it fills in with the ring. There's a lot more that goes into compound paths, so if you have any other questions, you can join us for one of our webinars or email us at info at